Hi, this is Miguel from Unreal Engine 3 Help. Um, today I'm going to show you how to import a file from Shaders Max to UDK with collisions. Normally I'll have to make the collisions inside UDK, but actually you can make them in 3ds Max. So yeah, that's that's what I'm going to show you. First we can make a box, very simple, and then we can it a little bit. Um, sorry. It is poly, and hit it up here. There we are. That's our perfect mover. And we're gonna take it from the button right here and make them. it out. Okay, I made a little mistake here, but um, you can easily that just eat it poorly and pull on that. So this could be our collision, but um, if you want some a better collision for a model, we're just gonna pull this over here and don't start to extrude thing. Try only use boxes and things like that to collision. Okay, so now we're gonna do this. We're gonna copy this one, and then we're gonna this and pull this down here. can also take the button. Something like that. And uh, this isn't the most, most perfect to perfect models. I'm just so showing you. So <coughs> now we go into the box. We can also take this box and we have to attach the collision model. Always remember to attach them. So if we are, we are just gonna put them right here, and we will rename this to example cube. And this, that's the important. U C X. U stands for animal, and C collision, and X I'm not quite sure. Maybe you know, but I don't. And that's example cube so this is the name example cube this is the name UCX example cube so now we're just gonna move it in again Let's see yep it's quite fine um to export things you'll need to you can normally export thing as a skeletal mesh in 3ds max then you would have to go over here and act the expert 3ds max and 3ds max is kind of lucky to use that 3ds max al already have it it has a ace exporter and then um, maya doesn't put there's a plugin for it and act x yeah that's the plugin and we're gonna export it in the desktop if it wants. There we are. Desktop. And then we're gonna take the ace and I'll put you that is. Um sample cube. I think it's that. Let's go into UDK. And we're gonna import our export of mesh. Go to our desktop. Should be need example cube. And 
something just 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 by edge, yeah. And uh, same cube. <coughs> That's our model. As you can see, we haven't made the materials. And to show collision, just click there. And see, it worked. So instead of going to collision right here and auto convict collision, you can make it yourself. It will get mu much more better. No, it will get better. Much better. And I actually think I have an example here of a collision I made in 3ds Max. Mm, environments, but I have the cl the materials on it is very bad. I haven't even think of it. So that's my move. Turn the collision on. As you can see right here, I have the collisions, and I can also go inside the house, and there's a staircase right there. You can also go and set a door, but that's not the important. Yeah, but that's the important thing. You can make all the collisions in 3ds Max. So you don't need to make it inside your UDK. And it helped me a lot. And thanks for, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video.